So one movement is receptive relaxation. When the foot bolus reaches the lower esophageal sphincter, the lower esophageal sphincter relaxes and so along with the lower esophageal sphincter relaxing, the upper part of the body of the stomach and fundus also relaxes. This is to receive the foot bolus coming down. Hence it is called receptive relaxation. It is a vaguely mediated reflex. The function of the stomach is to receive food, to store it and grind it and mix it with the gastric juice and make it into the semi-solid kind. And so this is known as and release it in small portions into the duodenum. This is called gastric emptying. First the bolus is pushed towards the closed pylorus. Now the antral portion will grind this food. This is called antral systole. If solid pieces of food remain, the solid the bolus is pushed back into the stomach and the process is repeated. This process gets repeated until it becomes liquid kind. And once it has become kind, it is released in small amounts into the duodenum. The time taken for gastric emptying, gastric emptying to happen is called gastric emptying time. And it is different for different foods. For example, if you have a heavy uh, food, fat rich food, you will feel that it remains in your stomach for a long time. That is because the time is longer for fat and lesser, lesser time for protein and least time is for carbohydrates. If you eat a piece of bread, it gets digested, I mean, it leaves your stomach fast. So, also the osmotics of the chyme and other factors also control gastric emptying time. If stomach or parts of the stomach are removed, then the gastric emptying does not happen. Basically, food will just directly enter into the intestine and that will cause something known as dumping syndrome.